for our next unit, we're going to be focusing on a book called Animalia. This is a book that I've been reading since I was a little girl and I really love it, so I hope you like it too. So we're going to be talking about not only illustration, but we're also going to be talking about book writing. So sometimes books are written and illustrated by two different artists. This book is written and illustrated by one artist. Journey on a Cloud, a book about the artist Mark Chagall, was written by an artist named Veronica Massonot and illustrated by Elise Massonot, two sisters. Another book you might recognize, Harry Potter, was written by the famous J.K. Rowling, but was illustrated by someone named Ma Mary Grand Prix. We're going to be talking about four parts of a sentence while we are writing our book. The noun, which is a person, place, or thing. The adjective, which is a word to describe the noun, like pretty, or huge, or tiny, or soft. A verb is an action like run, or jump, or hop, or I don't know, you know, an action. An adverb is a word to describe a verb, like quickly. Usually it ends in L-Y. As we turn through the pages of Animalia, you'll notice that these pages have all A's, all B's, all C's for their nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. So each person in class is going to get a letter. You are going to brainstorm today to think of all of your letters, nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Okay, so as you can see, the tables have letters, and I can come around and help you add a letter. So for instance, I would maybe add apple. Be sure you write smaller. I didn't write very small. You can write smaller than that. You might also write a letter like, maybe I would write, hmm, gingerly. That's going to be an adverb. Remember adverbs? often in in ly gingerly so you're going to help your classmates brainstorm by writing letters next to the letter at their spot be sure that you don't write inside of their box so that you don't cover up their letter you want to write really small because the whole school is going to be doing this you have you don't have your own paper the whole school is going to be using this paper so write really small divide your sketchbook up into four areas and you're going to use your brainstorming ideas from your friends to um, put those into your four categories. So you need to put your nouns, which is a person, place, or thing, into this category. Your verbs, which are your actions, into this category. Your adjectives into this one, which is a word that describes a noun. And your adverb into this one, which is a word that describes your verb. I will put that sheet up on the board before we get started. If you finish this in time, you can go ahead and start picturing here, sketching here. Um, we will be turning this into a painting, a collage painting, next week. So this will just be kind of a brainstorm sketch here. On the next page, you're going to use all of that brainstorming that you did here to write a sentence. The end goal of this project is that our entire class work 
will be a book that we'll put together at the end. This is gonna be so cool. I can't wait to see the end project, guys. So work really hard to have a cool sentence put together that will have a sentence with just one letter completely like Animalia does. So let me read you one of these cool sentences. Ingenious in iguanas, improvising an intricate impromptu on impossibly impractical instruments. If you see, they used one, two words that don't have an I. If you can't think of a word to substitute, then you can always use an or on or in or the. But try to use as many words that have your letter as you can. Have fun with this.